Thank you, Madam Chair, and I appreciate your holding this hearing today. This is a critically important issue, and one that, frankly, I don't know that we have given nearly enough attention to. From drones to air taxis to new propulsion systems, the air aviation enterprise is filled with new and exciting technologies that promise to transform how we live and how we work. Whether it is delivery drones getting medications to seniors in the most rural parts of the country, or industrial drones doing long distance pipeline inspections to ensure the safe transportation of oil and natural gas. New vertical takeoff and landing vehicles enabling low cost, short haul air transportation and reducing congestion in cities. Or new propulsion technologies which will use less fuel or even new fuels to go farther with less. It's an exciting time to be in aviation. But as I'm sure our witnesses will discuss today, everyone in this space is facing a similar problem, uncertainty. And while the issues facing the FAA are numerous and many of them are very complex, the inability of the agency to do its job and to manage the national air airspace system is threatening to cut American innovation and global leadership off at the knees. Whether that is on the certification front for new platforms, rules for remote ID or operations beyond visual line of sight, integration into the air traffic management enterprise, or any number of other issues, our regulatory system too often is paralyzed with indecision. They are exceedingly complex and would present a challenge for even the smartest and most well-equipped. But some days the FAA seems unable to do even the most basic parts of its job. And I think, especially more recently, this is in no small part due to a lack of leadership both at FAA and at DOT, and a lack of interest on the part of the White House. Just take a look at the FAA's organizational chart. Throughout the agency, there are more than a dozen important roles being filled by acting officials, including the very top spot. They are in places like a the Aviation Safety Office, the Air Traffic Organization, the Assistant Administrator for NextGen, the International Affairs Office, and Air Traffic Safety Services. Even when the administration finally sends us a nominee for FAA Administrator, they send someone with almost zero aviation experience, a requisite for the job, and who, as recent news has highlighted, has more than a little bit of scandal surrounding him. It is more than a little rich watching the transportation secretary beat up on the airlines when he seems to simultaneously ignore the absolute hollowing out of the FAA and the lack of confirmed permanent leadership over there. Somehow, Secretary Buttigieg has the time and resources to run around the country cutting ribbons on infrastructure projects and to launch a new, quote, airline customer service dashboard, but can't find the time to fill critical vacancies at the FAA. The secretary hasn't even responded to questions, for the record, from his budget hearing in May of this year, five months ago. And look, I get that you, the panel before us, you don't represent the FAA. But I don't know how you look at what I just outlined and think that anyone in this administration is placing aviation at the top of their priority list. Even as we are meeting here today, there are still dozens of rules and reports from the last FAA reauthorization in 2018 that still haven't been done. One thing I authored, the Commercial Balloon Pilot Safety Act, which simply requires the FAA to require a medical certificate for commercial balloon pilots, and which was the result of a horrific balloon cr cr crash in Texas, and recommendations from the NTSB still remains incomplete years after we passed it into law. In fact, it wasn't until November of last year that the FAA even issued a notice of proposed rulemaking three years after the 2018 reauthorization. 
If the FAA can't even get something like this done, commercial air balloon safety, how exactly are we supposed to have faith that they can get the much more complex tasks around integrating new entrants done, let alone done in a timely and efficient way? So I look forward to hearing from our witnesses what they think about what needs to be done. If it's more resources for the FAA, faster regulatory timelines, organizational shakeups, we're all ears. Congress has almost always taken a collaborative approach in aviation regulation, directing the FAA to go through rulemakings to get stakeholder input and shaping, shaping and crafting regu regulations based on feedback. But in this space where emerging technologies are meeting an old and entrenched bureaucracy, we are very quickly getting to a point where something has to give. And I, for one, am, am, am determined that what gives will not be continued American leadership in aviation. Thank you.